the brain. Hey, it's LeBrain, and for this installment of Record Store Tales, we're going to be taking you back, back to the record show days. I went with Tom to a record show in London, and I came home with this, Billion Dollar Baby by author Bob Green. It's a really, really cool inside look at the Alice Cooper band during the period where they were about to break up. This is a very hard book to find. It was a bit pricey, a little bit more than the $2 marked inside, but I had to have it, and it was sure worth having. All I'd found so far that day was a Quiet Riot promo 12-inch. Nothing special, I was still hunting for something better. I found that. It didn't look official. Well, it's not official, that would be why. And it really didn't even look all that good. But once I got into it, Holy crap, my friends. You see, Bob Green was invited by Alice Cooper to guest on his 1974 tour. He had guests on there such as the amazing Randy. Now, Bob Green was supposed to play Santa Claus during their Christmas tour. Little did he know this would actually be the final tour with the Alice Cooper band. And all the signs and symptoms are right here in this book. The original Alice Cooper group was deeply seated with jealousy at this time. Alice himself, formerly just the front man of a five-piece band, was now clearly the star. He used to be just Vince. Now he was Alice. How about an excerpt? Here's a section talking to David Liebert, who was the road manager for the Alice Cooper group. What I am, to a large degree, is a babysitter, he said. I have to treat these guys like babies. There's no question about it. Look, they even call the show Billion Dollar Babies. You've seen how it is. Something goes wrong for a second. Something makes them uncomfortable, and they're yelling, Liebert, Liebert. I have to bury my own ego completely, which is okay. That's part of the job. I have to wait on them hand and foot, wake them up in the morning, feed them, make sure they have a way to go outside if they want, know where they are at all times, make sure their things get from city to city. That's how I knew it would be. Glenn, Buxton, is the worst. He can't function, literally. He gets up five minutes before we're supposed to leave the hotel, no matter how many times he's been told how inconsiderate that is to everyone. I have to virtually break down his door. I've had fist fights with him. He simply won't learn. Neil and Dennis are fine about that. Alice is perfect. I call him an hour before he's supposed to be in the lobby, and he's there, right on time. Mike's a little trouble. But even now, we're talking about the simple act of getting up in the morning. So there you have it. Bob Green, Billion Dollar Baby. Definitely one of the best finds I've ever had during the record store days. If you see a copy, be sure to snag it if it's at a reasonable price. So thanks for checking out MikeLodano.com. Tune in to the next Record Store Tale. You never know what rarities we'll have in store. Cheers. The Green Dog.